Kourtney Kardashian has never been one to shy away from speaking her mind out even if it means her whole family going against her and this time she has come out to shut down her mother and sister's claims about her pregnancy in new episode of The Kardashians. Well, do you want to see what she had to say about Chris and Kim? Watch the video till the end and you will find out all the information you need to know. Now, recently, Kourtney Kardashian gave birth, as we all know, to a bouncing baby boy and they named him Rocky, right? Well, Kourtney's pregnancy was high risk, whereby she had to keep a distance from her family because of the drama in their household to be able to protect her baby. In fact, she was rushed to the hospital before she was due and it was a scare to her husband, herself and her fans. Now, recently during the Kardashians reality show, that is the Kardashians, Courtney kind of came out to put a stop at her family's drama when she blasted her mother for claiming she was hurt that Courtney didn't inform her before she announced to the public and the whole world then her husband at his concert that she was pregnant. God, she forgot she had a family. That's what pregnancy brain does. It's wild how that happens. I just truly didn't think to invite them to the LA concert and didn't think that they would care to come. And I did tell Chloe about it and she asked me to change it to San Diego. It just truly was our way to tell the world and it was about me and Travis, not about anything else. Now on their show, Chris Jenner voiced her disappointment about not being told about her daughter's new development in life and having to learn about the situation on the news saying, I thought I was being punked and then I realized it was the ABC News. I knew she was pregnant, but I just didn't know she was going to announce it. In Courtney's defense, she said that she simply forgot to tell her and that she didn't think that her family would care to come to the concert during a confessional appearance. I knew she was pregnant, but I just didn't know she was I going to Saturday, announce it. Wow, mom's feelings are really hurt um, that you did this, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, I forgot. She forgot she had a family. That's what pregnancy brain. However, Courtney seems to have taken this as an opportunity to speak her mind out. The reason why she doesn't want to involve her family is simply because they make everything about themselves. Courtney informed that she had told Chloe among all her family about the announcement and to prove her point right about them making it all about themselves, Chloe told Courtney that she should change it to San Diego. Courtney said during a confessional on their show saying, this is why I don't invite you guys to stuff because it's not about you. Everything becomes about everyone and the way they want to do it and all their complaints and I'm like, ah, I see why I didn't invite you to the other thing. She continued saying, it was truly just our way to tell the world and it was just about me and Travis, not about anything else. And to support her, she has a point guys. I mean, the Kajanas always find ways of making everything about themselves so no wonder she actually decided to exclude them. In one episode still in the reality show, Courtney is seen feeling uncomfortable after Chris and Chloe and their Kardashian cameras were seen following Courtney around and and Travis in the tour bus to one of Blink 182's concerts. Chris was seen looking around the vehicle and was seen actually complimenting about the amount of food in the bus and uh, saying that it was not enough for everyone. She was then seen asking Courtney very many questions that made her look frustrated with one of them being what is Travis eating to which Courtney who looked very frustrated by the way by her mother's questions replied saying he doesn't eat at this hour. Hey Court, yeah. Um, what is Travis eating? Not, he doesn't eat at this hour. Oh. Hearing Courtney say this, I guess, actually explains a lot why she decided to keep her distance from her family after she got pregnant. I mean, her family has always been on her case, calling her the less exciting to look at among all of them, blaming her for being different and everything. So I guess that's why she decided that since she was finally married to a man who actually loves her and she loves him too, why not make her own family with him and their kids? Keep in mind guys that Travis had his kids from his former marriage and so did Courtney and Scott. So I mean that's enough family for her, right?
Anyways, I did talk about her health scare where she was rushed to the hospital and had to undergo a fetal surgery to save her unborn baby's life. However, thanks to God's mercy, Courtney gave birth to a bouncing baby boy according to an insider. They say that Courtney is so in love, there hasn't been one minute where she hasn't thanked her lucky stars that her baby is here and healthy. The insider also said, Courtney is just going to lie low for a very long time and soak in all the baby time. Well, despite her very high-risk pregnancy being finally out, she has kept her distance from her dramatic family with claims that they haven't even met the baby yet up to now. Well, a source came out to inform that Courtney is going to be introducing the new baby to her family on an invite-only basis. The insider said, Courtney and Travis have communicated that they will be taking family only time for the newly blended family and for court to rest then they will be inviting the extended family over on an individual basis. She continued saying, so now everyone's talking about where Kim will be on the list. Obviously, Chris will be first, but who is going to get the second invite? The source also says that the reason why Courtney is keeping up these strict rules is simply because of the jam thing to protect the baby and not to expose him to any risk, but it's like part of her new strategy to keep everyone at an arm's length. And if you are to ask me, people, that's what I also thought too. Courtney is just trying to keep her family from meeting her baby obviously otherwise a jumps thing really can they be sanitized or something also guys aren't you wondering why the insider close to courtney had to point out kim i mean she has other sisters right so kylie was seen at the hospital courtney gave birth in with travis but kim nowhere well, it's no secret that Courtney and Kim have been having this feud between them where Kim feels like Courtney is our competition. She even was the one that called her the least exciting to look at and has shaded her several times. However, for those that have been keeping up with the feud, Courtney is winning big time these days. Well, apart from her having this perfect family with her husband, she has now given birth and taken over the news and attention of the media unlike Kim who is like continuously failing. I mean, she has no man, no family, except of course her family, I mean her sisters and her mother because she actually divorced the only man that ever loved her. So no wonder she has been constantly coming up with these new things in her schemes and everything, you know, being endorsed and launches and everything. She badly needs the attention for herself. But unfortunately, that has also not worked well with her since they have all had these controversies around them. So still, Courtney is winning big. So call it bad behavior or what, but her choosing to keep a distance from her family and her sister, especially Kim, and Kim Keeping her baby from them is completely worth it and I support her. She needs her time like one fun bird saying, I think she just wants to keep things private for a bit and enjoy those first few days to be honest. Yes guys, you heard what friends had to say but now I want to hear what you have to say about Courtney. Did Courtney do well to distance herself from her family or not? Make sure you leave us your view in the comment section below, like the video, and please subscribe to the channel for more news and gossip about your favorite celebrity. Until then, please keep safe and please stay tuned.